Um, thank you so much, Daniel Wahome, of course, uh, from uh, the sports uh, check team. And of course, we are here in Kariobangi North, where the Box Girls and Association uh, that formed majorly compos uh, is comprised of uh, boxers coming from uh, this neighborhood. And the main uh, objective of this particular association or boxing club that was begun roughly in 2008 is uh, to empower women and also to empower the youth and the young in this particular neighborhood to use to actually tap into the power of the sport and use it so as to you know help the young ones and help those who come from this particular neighborhood overcome or just do it overcome disadvantage in life and also achieve their goals and ambitions as far as using the game of boxing and also more so what's more interesting is that this particular association which has like 15 years in existence has like 10 zones of course in Madare North and a couple of several of the estates in surrounding areas that's in Madari, Uruma, Dandora and many others. A total of a rough number could be like 50 boxers come here to spy and also to just dream, you know, see if they can achieve their goals and ambitions by wearing their gloves. And one of the boxers who has actually put this particular association on the pedestal, no mentioning about, she has like four titles, you know, and she'll be having a major, major fight in May, a WBF title, that's a Sarah Ache. She is the angel of four. She's here with me and she's uh, speaking to me about her preparations for the upcoming bout. Uh, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us on Sports Check this lovely uh, mid-morning. Yes, and it's great to be here. How, what does it take? Does it take sweat and tears every time? To... Yeah, it takes sweat, hard and tears, sweat, uh, sweat, dedication, blood and tears. Sometimes, sometimes we cry. Sometimes we 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 we, we shed blood. Sometimes. We are just normal. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah. It's like a lot. Yeah. A lot. And, and when when you're shedding blood and, and it's tears, I mean, is it painful? I know it's a stupid question, but is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's painful because when you are doing a sparring, you never know, uh, you never know uh, how the the sparring is going to come out. Maybe your opponent is sometimes stronger than you, or sometimes you become careless, you don't guard up. So sometimes you find that uh, when you are being hit and the the, 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 you are being hit through the target. Uh, that is where you find maybe sometimes you 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 you, you, you the blood come out. Mm -hmm. And many times when you are training, also you have to sweat, mm -hmm. like sweat all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, of course. There is no if no pain, then there is no gain. And also, um, Sarah, you you began here, you know, at the age of 18. You picked on the gloves, and it's been uh, it's been an interesting journey for you, you know. Um, several accomplishments, you're the role model of the young ones in this particular gym, I'm very sure. How has it been for you with boxing girls? You know, we say that their main aim is to help people, the young ones in this neighborhood and any other neighborhood, to achieve their dreams using boxing. Is this what it is from your side? Yeah, I would say uh, us as a uh, box gas organization, we began in 2008 when I was uh, just uh, sitting back at home and doing nothing. So um, the organization has really helped us to uh, become who we are, like me, for example. Uh, I started when nobody know, knew about Sarah, and right now I'm a world champ. People can hear my story. So uh, we vision as an organization to, to see a society which um, every girl sold the power to create opportunity for herself and others. What do I mean? Sarah, was, opportunity was created for me through the coach, the founder of Box Girls, Alf Danol. And right now, I am also, I'm a player, I'm a coach. I also have mentored many young girls who come from marginalized community of different uh, communities that we work with. And right now, they are also the ones who have come now to give back even to other young girls. So we have, uh, we normally reach our target group are girls from the age of 8 to 23. Mm -hmm. So like in here every Saturday and even sometimes Sunday, we have so many girls who are coming to take box girls as a career and also just to train and also to uh, know how they can use uh, these boxing skills mm -hmm. to help them uh, overcome their daily life situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you talked about your story, becoming a world champion, you know, and you just being on, in a position very few people are in a position to tell their story to the world, you know, and now you, you're now a coach again, so you're seeing the young ones coming up, and you can see the story, you can see their story, what does this make you feel? It makes me feel that um, even in Kariobangi, we can make a difference. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, yeah. Uh, our dreams our dreams are valid and we can we can become who we, we wish to become it doesn't have to be that uh, we, it doesn't have uh, to uh, stop where we are yeah, we are we are aiming high, and we know our girls uh, have a um, brighter future. Uh -huh. If Sarah can come from this area, and Sarah can become a world champ, what about that other girl? Yeah, yeah. And also maybe uh, Sarah, you know, looking at uh, the all the reasons why this particular uh, boxing girls association is here, you know, because the neighbourhood is not, uh, you know, it's not. Uh, there are challenges of the young ones when they are growing up. You know, the early pregnancies, there's crime. There's drugs and all that, you know. How easy is it for you to, to get, for, for one, to encourage the young ones, to tell them there's a danger lying ahead, even before they get there? Uh, so, we normally don't just uh, teach the girls on how to box, and it ends there. We equip them with the skills um, on how they can use even boxing itself to uh, uh, overcome the challenges, like to... Uh, to, uh, to stay out of early marriage when they come and they train they can uh, maybe uh, be hired with the police or even soldiers they can turn to become professional boxers it doesn't have to stop in Kariobangi that is our message so they through through the skills that we are being we are trying to equip them with they are able to overcome um, early marriages they come out of uh, using even the drugs because you cannot take a drug and come even to train. It will not work for you. Yeah. yeah. Then of course you have a major fight coming up in May. Talk about it. So yeah, uh, we have a major fight that is coming up in May, May 5th. Yeah, it is a big fight. This is the first and the most, and the, the one that is going to make a history in Kenya. It has never been brought here, the World Boxing Foundation. So uh, through my participation and even the rank that I have has qualified me to uh, buy for this belt. So I'm calling upon Kenyan people to come and support us on May 5th. Come and see the Angel of War, which is going, is going to be against Kenya versus US. Yes. And this belt is ours and it's going to remain in Kenya. Nobody come and mess with Angel of War in my territory. This is my territory. What, unless if they do that, what's, what's the price that they're going to pay? What's the price that they pay if they come and make pay you? <laughs> Angel of War, of course, uh, fighting again as uh, Mendes. Do you, uh, her name is already out, and that particular fight. How important is it for you, this particular uh, uh, fight? This fight is very important for me in regards to other fights that I've been looking forward to have. And uh, we have been having a challenge even um, for having visa. There are three international fights that uh, I was supposed to go and participate in. And it has never happened because of the issue of uh, challenges that we have in regards to the visa. And even the opponents wanna sometimes wanna, wanna pull out from the fight. So this time round, to Naomba, even through the promoter who can come out and even support this, but because to Nataka to chase the Ukunyumbani, come on, to go to Uko, we are calling upon them. Wakuje Kenya, Wakuje Kenya, we are ready for them and looking forward to have them in Kenya. Okay, all yes. the best, Angel of Four, Sarah Cheng. The you know, I mean, she's a champion, has four titles, and also she's be going, she'll be fighting in WBF title bout that's on in May, as she has mentioned.